Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video we're talking about my October favorites and I wanted to be surrounded by my October favorites. If you don't know, I am the self-proclaimed unofficial Halloween queen. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday and so I thought it would just be fitting to sit by the fireplace next to my little pumpkins and talk about all the things that I loved this past month. I am sitting on the floor. I feel like I should put my knees up, but I don't want my knees to be in here. So excuse me if I'm a little fidgety in this video. I am uncomfortable. I think the lighting is okay because I'm not really gonna be talking a lot about makeup. There is my typical kind of just like throw it on my face and go. I feel like my favorites have become a little redundant. I'm not really buying new makeup. However, I have a lot of other favorites in this video. We are gonna be talking about a little bit of makeup, mainly lipstick products, chapstick products, lip liner that I brought back. I have skincare. I have period essentials because we all know hashtag period problems. I wanna show you what's in my daily pouchette that I take with me every day, wherever I go. I have three handbags, which is totally excessive. I have nail polish, I have hair care tools. I've just, I've tried to dabble in different things this month. And so we are going to be showcasing that in today's video. If you enjoy monthly favorites, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below. This way I know you like them. This way I continue to upload them simply because I'm kind of getting to a point where, like I said, I'm using the same makeup I've been using for months and months and months. So I don't know, like, are we interested in these? Are we not interested in these? Do you want to see the shoes, the clothes, all the things I'm interested to know. Let me tell you what is currently on my lips. Skin Iceland solutions for stressed lips. If you know me, my lips are forever in a state of stress. I am my own worst enemy. I bite them, I pick them, I chew them. It's just, it's terrible, but I've been using this a lot. My lips are okay. I did kind of go on a chomping spree the other day. That is not to knock this product. It does not matter what product I use. Anytime I feel a little bit of dryness, it's just like I am a ticking time bomb when it comes to chomping at the lip. Get it? Like chomping at the bit. It's minty, but not too minty. It doesn't burn. I like the squeezy tube. I like the slanted applicator. Whatever it is, if I'll reach for it, it is for me. Another lubricating product, but this one is for your eyeballs. Bio True Hydration Boost for Irritated and Dry Eyes. Now, I don't really suff suffocate. What am I saying? I don't normally suffer from dry eyes, but Mike and I went to California. Two days after we got home, I woke up and I genuinely thought I had pink eye because I woke up and my one eye was like closed shut. Thankfully, I didn't have pink eye. I just had severe dry eye. We went to Mayakamas, which is a beautiful vineyard, but we rode on an ATV. It was super dusty. All the, like we left and I felt dusty. Got dust in my eye. And I know it was like a few days later, but I just feel like that was what the issue was. But nevertheless, nonetheless, I don't know what I'm saying. I was using these. These are like a thicker kind of eye liquid. It's not a gel. I just can't explain it to you. It's not very runny like my clear eyes that I always use. Um, it's a little bit thicker and my eyes were good. I used this for two days straight. My eye was healed. And so I hijacked this from Mike. I did buy him a new one, okay? I Amazon primed it to the house so that he wouldn't know that I took it from him. Let's put on a lip before we get to the pouchette, but I guess we should open the pouchette because I do, I need a mirror. So this is my Louis Vuitton pouchette. Michael bought this for me for Valentine's Day a couple years ago. I take this everywhere I possibly can. My only issue is that some of my handbags are a little bit too small and don't fit this, but I have changed my handbag buying criteria. I am genuinely taking my own advice that I always give you guys lovingly, but I'm just sometimes bad. You know, sometimes we're just bad at taking our own advice, you know? Every time I go and I look at a handbag or every time I buy one online, I measure to make sure that it will fit this because if it doesn't fit this, I just feel lost. I'm gonna go in here, let me grab my mirror. We went to San Francisco and Napa in one trip and I bought this beautiful mirror. I love it. It has the California poppies on it. It has the Golden Gate Bridge. One side is magnified and the other one is not. MAC Cork Lip Liner. I've been loving a darker lip lately. So this has been the lip liner I've been gravitating towards. Oh, and it goes so beautifully with this top. I'm just gonna line my lips just a little bit. It is such a pretty color. I absolutely love it. I went from really loving a light lip to now I think since changing my hair to like a darker kind of like coppery, not so blonde anymore. I'm really craving a darker lip. This has like honestly become my nude lip liner. Like whenever I need a lip liner, this is the lip liner 
that I now reach for. My e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks. I love these. These are my favorite lipsticks that you can find at the drugstore. Like I said, I've been craving something a little bit darker. So this past month, I surprisingly wore this lipstick a lot. And I don't really know if this like drowns me out, but it's just nudie. This is in the shade No Doubt. I just really like it. It's like this caramelly, I know you can't see, this light. I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit. I brought this to Napa and I wore this lip pairing, the lip liner and the lipstick together. I was wearing a bit more makeup, so it might make me look a little bit more washed out than it did in Napa, but I was skeptical about it. And then I was washing my Napa footage back. Let me come to you because this light is just terrible. This light is terrible. I'm so sorry. How did, why did I do this to you? How about that? It's like a really pretty kind of like caramelly peachy, but like a dark peach lip, li lip liner, lipstick. What is she saying? I feel very scatterbrained. I think it's because I'm sitting on the floor, but I like how it's like matching my new aesthetic. It kind of goes really nicely with my hair. If I were wearing mascara, it would look a lot better. I also have two other shades, one that's called Own It, which is more of like a red wine color. I love this color. It is so pretty when I'm feeling a bit more vampy. And then I also have the shade Standing Ovation, which is moody, but like more of a pink tone. So a little less of a washout for those of you who have lighter hair than I do. Little travel size Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Refresh Rose Lip Collagen Baths. I forgot all about these, but again, nothing will get you in the mood to try makeup than vacation. I love when I go on vacation, I try to pack things that I haven't worn in a while that I want to test and try and kind of like bring back into my rotation. Just because when I'm on vacation, I want to feel my best. But if my makeup is, you know, a little bit askew, a little astray, I don't mind as much because I'm on vacation and I have other things to distract me. So I love these lip glosses. I totally forgot how much I love them. I did not think I would like this as much as I still like it because I have things like like the e.l.f. lip oils as well as the NYX lip fat oils. I love the both of them. I use them all the time, but I honestly think, sorry, my, my iPad is behind you. That's why you probably think you're getting a text message and you're not. Welcome to my world because my husband gets text messages all the time and nobody texts me and I'm constantly like, oh, my phone and it's never for me. So I'm sorry if I make you feel like that, but trust me, it is a one-off. I think that I love this lip gloss more than I like the e.l.f. ones and the NYX ones because this one I can just reapply, reapply, reapply. It doesn't end up creating that kind of like buildable gook on my lips. I don't know how else to explain it, but you know like when you apply a lip product so many times that like it creates a layer of something and you have to take it off. It doesn't do that. And it does a really, really nice job of plumping. And I love the little heart applicator and the Refresh Rose color is just stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. This video should go up while the Sephora sale is running. So if you're interested in this, get it during the sale because these are pricey. I think they're, they're probably like 25 to $30 ish. I carry toothpicks in this little case. It's like a little cardboard case, nothing special. Tied to go pen, which if you know me, you might argue that this is the most important to have because your girl, I get food all over me. And if you're sitting with me at a dinner table, you've been forewarned, watch out because I could get something all over you too. Slip hair tie, I got this in, I think it was in one of the holiday ones because it has little like sparkly glitters in it. It's so cute, so girly. You never know when you need a hair tie. So I leave it in here. Case of pills, N nothing crazy. I got like Advil, Tylenol, you know, just the usual essentials. I should put Midol in there too. We're gonna talk about period things in this video because I have my period currently as I'm filming this. Although I feel like every video I film, I have my period. It's like really a never ending saga. Hand cream, I love L'Occitane. This one smells nice. This is their cherry blossom one. I like this hand cream because it's not slimy. It absorbs into my hands really beautifully. It's small and compact and we need that when we're throwing all of our essentials in this itty bitty thing. What is this called? Apple tag, air tag, air tag, because this goes with me every everywhere. So if I ever need to be found, okay? Important, tend to throw whatever perfumes I'm wearing for the day. I have so many of these travel perfumes upstairs, always saving them for when we were traveling, but we don't travel, like we travel a decent amount. I'm very grateful for how much we travel, but we don't travel enough for the amount of travel perfumes that I have. So every day I've just been in the mood to try new perfumes. I will spritz myself in the morning and then take it with me. And I find like it's really nice because 
you know, perfume doesn't last on me very long. I have very dry skin. And if I'm doing something after work, it's nice to just spray, to refresh throughout the day. If I'm going to get matcha with my husband, which by the way, I really wanted to mention a favorite of mine that I discovered. If you are near a cha-cha matcha, which I know they're in New York City, but I think they are a chain in other places. Oh my God. I am not a matcha drinker. I just, I think sometimes it tastes really earthy. It kind of tastes like I'm eating dirt. There's like a really fine line with matcha for me, but oh my God, their draft matcha is delicious. I drank way too many of them this month. It is not good for my bank account. I mean, I don't know how many calories are in it. I don't wanna know. But if you're near Cha Cha Matcha, you must try their draft matcha. The other ones are not good. You might see the purple one, the strawberry looking one. It looks appealing, but they don't taste good. The perfumes that I have in here, I love this one, Cartier. It's called a word that I can't say, but it's Leor Brillante, something brilliant. It smells like grass, like freshly cut grass. And that is my kind of scent. It smells like yeah, it smells like really bougie, freshly cut grass, expensive grass that's been cut. I don't know how to explain it, but this is in a toilet. And like I just said, perfumes don't last on me, but toilets really don't last on me if a perfume's not lasting on me. So I wish that they would come out with this in a perfume form. And then this one, I like it. It's okay. Jimmy Choo Passion. It's whatever. This one is the best one that I've tried thus far. I like the scent. It lasts on me all day long. And this is in the scent called Pasha. I like grandpa or grandma scents. That's just my vibe. I don't know. I find that they also last longer on me too. Like a potent, this smells like a grandpa. Like I love a florally grandma because I can't wear floral that's too fresh. It won't last on me, but yeah, Pasha by Cartier. This smells like my grandpa, Poppy. It kind of, I don't know. It just like reminds me of him. It smells really, really good. I like it and I will definitely buy it at some point. But if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, you know that I spend a decent amount of money on Le Labo. Le Labo, any scent that you buy will last on you all day. I don't know what it is. Their perfume is so concentrated. Even if your skin is like the freaking Sahara Desert, it lasts on you all day. So I bought two sizes. I bought the large size in Rose 31, which is just a scent that I've been wearing for years at this point. It is like my staple scent. I don't want to think about it too much. Just it's like an everyday perfect scent, perfect for date night during the day. And this one is so good. I tr I got a smaller size. I would never, do not ever buy this size because it is so dumb how expensive this is. This is half of an ounce, I think. Half an ounce, not even a full ounce. I think it's like $100. I had a gift card, but I didn't realize how much it was. I don't know about you. Sometimes I black out when I shop, especially if I'm shopping with other people's money, like a gift card, like a Visa Vanilla card, like that shit will get me. Cause I'm just like, I don't care. I'm not paying for it. I want it. Although I kind of am paying for it. It's like creamy, but like, oh my God, I can't even explain to you what, I, I want this for Christmas. Ugh, I can't even ask for this for Christmas because it's so expensive. Anyone that doesn't know what to get me for Christmas, if you want to get me a Bloomingdale's gift card, I am buying myself the big size of this scent. I always do this thing where I bring different scents on trips so that I can correlate this scent with the trip. So not every time I smell this, I'm back to Napa in October, 2024. All right, I think the lighting is a little bit better. Let's talk about skincare really quickly because I've been talking a lot and I realize I really haven't gotten through much of what I wanna talk about. So skincare, I've been using the Caudalie Res Resveratrol Lift. It's basically an alternative to retinol. I like it. I've been using it for about a month. I would say the fine lines on my head do look good. However, aside from this, I've also been using my organic castor oil. Now, I don't know what the hell it is, but like I will use this for like a month and then I will go about my life, forget about this. And then things like going to California, sitting on a plane for six hours, being in the desert like climate, then coming back on a six hour plane, my skin was dry. I'll wash my face, I'll double cleanse. Actually, what am I doing? What is she doing? Let me start from the cleansing. So in a recent vlog, I did this routine with you guys, but I've been using the Evlom, the cleansing oil. Very scented, very potent. It smells really nice, but honestly, I have to tell you, and I told one of my subscribers this recently, I get motion sickness, not all the time, 
But when I take mass transit, now I take the bus to and from New York City when I go to work. And sometimes at the end of the day, the bus just does not, I don't get on well with the bus. And at the end of a long day, like this will send me. It will send me, it will make me so nauseous. Wash my face with this and then I will exfoliate my face while this is still on my face with this wet physical exfoliant. And it helps to really get all the makeup off. And I like this because you can then genuinely see the makeup that you took off. And I don't know, it's just there's something satisfying about that. I will put my Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Serum all over my face, except I don't put this near my mouth because I get very, I react there. And so I try to just avoid any actives near my mouth. I don't know, just something that I do. I'm not a dermatologist. And then I like to lock it in with the best cream. I use this day and night. I highly recommend this. If you've been here for a minute, you know I've been saying for years that the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream can replace Tatcha's the water cream. This locks everything in, hydrates my face before I go to bed, hydrates my face in the morning before I put sunscreen on and it looks beautiful under makeup. I am buying the refillable like huge pouch during the Sephora BIB sale. I need to have this. This is a staple. I absolutely love this. So I will put this all over my face and then I'll come downstairs, you know, cause I'm upstairs when I'm doing this routine, I'm upstairs in the master bedroom getting ready for the night. I'll come downstairs. Right now, what am I doing? I'm watching the Yankee game, which I love my husband and he is so pro Halloween and he supports my Halloween dreams. But my God, the Yankees being in the World Series has really thrown a wrench into my Halloween movie watching. Then when we go back upstairs before I go to bed, I will take my castor oil, I will put it in my palms, I will rub it in between my hands and it is a thick and it smells really good. It smells like kind of earthy. I can't explain what it smells like. Kind of like earthy, kind of like woody. I just, it smells really good. I will rub it between my hands and just pat it all over my face. And you think of it as like an oil that locks everything in. And I put it in my brows. I put it on my lashes. My whole face is castor oiled. I'll even put it in my hairline. It's so good at hydrating, it helps with my fine lines. So I can't say like which is really working to help with the fine lines on my forehead, but this combination has been really, really beautiful. And the castor oil not only helps with my fine lines, but it really, really helps to soften my skin, to make sure that it's nice and hydrated. And I don't wanna forget about this because the winter, she is a coming and she is approaching. This is what I've created. I bought this little clear guy and I love this because I can see what's inside. I just keep this stacked. And then when I get my period, I throw this in my backpack. When I'm going to work, I throw this in my bag. I like different things. We all have different flows depending on the day and our cycle. So I have this big guy, heavy duty one, in case, you know, Mike and I are down the shore and I'm going to bed and I need one when I'm sleeping or if the flow is she just be flowing, then I need this. So that's my big one. I love these, these are the best. I will link all of the pads down below. I went from a tampine user. I still use them sometimes. I'm not totally off of them, but I'm trying to use them less because it's not good for you. These are great. These are the always with the wings. The large ones also have the wings, but these are just so good. I love this size. It's like, it covers a lot of ground, but it doesn't feel like a diaper, which I'm wearing this one right now. I don't like feeling like I'm wearing a diaper. It makes me very uncomfortable, but that might be a me problem. I also have little panty liners. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am really someone who is either full throttle to medium flower and then she's done. So I don't know, but I really have not used these very much to be totally honest. Sorry if this is TMI. I have super tampons for, you know, when I wanna wear a tampon in the beginning, but I've really been trying to not wear a tampon. I've really been trying to not wear a tampon in the very beginning or the very end. I have Might All in here. Oh yeah, okay, it's right here. And I also have a Might All in here. Kinda nice to have this with me anyway, because a lot of the times, I will run into women in the restroom, like at Port Authority, which is so disgusting. I know you should not go to the bathroom at Port Authority, but I got a long commute home. Sometimes a girl's gotta pee. If a girl's gotta pee, she's gotta pee. But I'll run into people that are like, does anyone have anything? Or I'll hear someone be like, oh shit, like in the stall. And then I'll be like, do you need a pad, a tampon, a mitol? It's just, it's nice to give, to make someone feel special. You feel like crap and then if someone's like, hey, you need a tampon girl, I got you. It makes you feel better and less upset that you have your period because you know that other women have your back. So that's my little tampon thing. Also, granny panties, Fruit of the Loom, I will link them down below. I'm wearing them right now. 
because I'm wearing my pants and I have my period. Black because, you know, duh. Um, but these are so good. I love these, very comfortable and just keep me protected. Love these, should have done this today. I was lazy today and honestly, I was running out of time. I have been using this a lot. I have showed you this in recent vlogs, but this is the Mane, M-A-N-E, Clippy Curler. I think this is one and a half inches diameter. If you have shorter hair, do not get the one and a half inch. I don't think it will look good on you. I think you need to have long hair in order for this to look good. It lasts and it does better curls on day two hair. I've been doing outward curls on both sides. It looks really great. I like it. It lasts way longer than my Dyson Airwrap curls last. It's like an effortless natural curl. We'll link it down below. It will also be included in the Sephora sale. You guys know I always talk about my nails, so uh, the nails that I have on right now are no good. I love this color. This is black onyx. I bought a new one. I Amazon primed it here with a bunch of other nail polishes, which I'll just show you what I bought because why not? We're here right now. It was old. It was gloppy. I should have known, but like it looks terrible. I don't know if you can see, but it just, it's all crinkly because the nail polish like didn't dry down. But can you see the stickers? I mean, they don't look great again because the polish didn't go on good. Didn't go on great. That sounded weird how I said it, but look at these stickers. They're so freaking cute. So these are the best nail stickers I've ever used. My sister said the same and she has used quite a lot of nail products. She does her own nails. I mean, I do my own nails too, but she has like the gel and like the, the nail growers and all the things like she goes in. I literally chop all my nails off and I paint them and that's it. But these are from Deco Beauty. I bought them from Instagram. The one and only time I've ever bought anything from Instagram, but look how cute they are. I couldn't say no. They're ghosts. It's all Halloween. The two colors that I wore the most this month are Black Onyx, which this is a new one. I just bought it because like I told you, Chunky Monkey, the old one that I had. And then this was my other Halloween orange. This is Susie and Needs a Locksmith. Now I wore this in Napa. My nails looked so cute. I'm so mad that I didn't like show them to you because I put multiple stickers on each finger. The stickers were stickering. Bought the black one that I just showed you, Black Onyx. And then I got two browns, Material Girl. This is like a caramelly light brown. I'm so excited to wear this. Cliffside Karaoke. I don't know, but this brown looks really nice. A little bit lighter than a dark brown. It's like a chocolate brown. I'm thinking I'm going to take these off and I'm going to just paint them black again. One last hurrah because when I'm filming this, Halloween is next week. So I think I just, I mean, I can wear black nail polish whenever, but I think I want to do the black right. And so I'm going to paint my nails with this next, but then I will most likely move on to one of these beautiful browns because I can't wait to try them. Let's do handbags and let's do shoes. These are from Valentino. They're a little small for me. I will say go up a half size. I'm always a seven. These are a seven, but I would do a half size up. Bougie, expensive looking. I love Valentino rock studs. I love that they're like matte studs. I love that it's black on black. I don't know. It's a little bit more quiet. I, it's just subtle, I guess is the word, but these are so beautiful. I love them so comfortable. A small kitten heel. I like a kitten heel. Highly recommend. Very quickly because we do not need to spend too much time here. My most worn bag. Definitely this one from Gianni Carini. I love Gianni Carini. They make beautiful Italian handbags. Leather. I love that this one is like crinkly. You guys have seen this so many times. They sell the straps separately but they so beautifully gifted this to me for my birthday and it just matches perfectly. I love that it's a bucket bag. I brought this to Napa. I just, you can throw your entire life in here. I have no problem carrying my stuff, my stuff, whenever it is I take this bag. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. And it is definitely like every year for the last two years, it has been my most worn handbag in the winter. These are premium price. I believe this is like, I wanna say it's like 175 to 250, but I will link it down below. And I love that this is like a purple yet a navy, depending upon how the light hits it. I also bought this beautiful, beautiful bag. I will link this down below as well from J. Crew. It is $150. It is Italian leather. YSL vibes. Very vintage looking. I love the turn lock. And also a very deceiving bag. It carries a lot of things. My pouchette fits in here. I can fit my stuff. I can fit some of Mike's stuff. I love it. It is so, it would look great with this dress that I'm wearing. Very sophisticated, very ladylike, understated at a beautiful, beautiful price. Adjustable strap so you can make this longer, you can make this shorter. Highly recommend. Again, I will link this down below because I think you need it, honestly. It's beautiful, honestly, so beautiful. In terms of like things that I want to do and things that I want to incorporate more into my wardrobe. I really want to wear this damn bag because I bought this bag beginning of this year towards the end of the winter. This beautiful suede 
YSL bag and I really have not worn her. I want to wear her more. I just, I didn't realize how precious I would be with her. This would have been the perfect month to wear her because it really hasn't been raining, but Mike and I spent a lot of time in Napa. I didn't want to put her in my carry-on. I didn't want to check her because I was nervous about ruining her. I'm going to make it a mission to wear her. Also, I want to journal a bit more. You guys know I like to do this little bit of roundup. I also want to do a lot more yoga. I have not done yoga like this entire month, which I feel terrible about saying it. Still have not found a therapist. I'm gonna work on that. I feel like I got a little carried away this month and got like roped into Napa editing my Napa vlog. I'm doing a lot of projects right now, but I really need to make my mental health more of a priority. I am going to commit to find, sorry, my battery died. And I think it's because my battery is tired of hearing my bullshit too, but November, I will find a therapist. It will be the winter. I will have less going on. And so no more excuses. I'm going to get it done. I've been pretty good at meditating. Not the greatest at meditating. I would say I probably meditate about three days a week. In September, I was meditating every day. But I feel like because in September, I really needed to meditate every day. My mental health is on the right track. I definitely feel like October was way better for me than in... September. I just, I don't do well with the ending of summer. I think a lot of it has to do with grief. I think my, you know, my dad's favorite season was, was Halloween. No, that's my favorite season. My dad's favorite season was summer and I have so many summer memories with my dad. And then I just think like the summer ends and it just is like another summer without my dad. And I feel like I just, there is some kind of connection there. I also want to walk outside more. I was doing really well at walking outside, but again, I've been editing a lot of content, I've been filming a lot of content, and I just need to find a better balance between my full-time job, vlogging, editing. I just, I have a lot of like exciting collaborations and projects going on. I really, I feel like I'm finally coming into my own here on YouTube. I've been uploading videos for six years now, and I really, like, I love you guys, and some of you have been with me since the beginning. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I'm not really looking to be like YouTube famous, but if I can somehow make this like a full-time gig or like do this more often, like I just really enjoy filming content, editing content, producing content. Just it's a passion of mine and I really love vlogs. Like I love documenting my life and documenting my travels because a lot of that ties into losing my dad and losing loved one. It's just loved ones. It's just like, I like to just be able to look back and reminisce and I might not be healthy, but here we are. And last but not least, I want to drink more wine. You guys know, I'm not a big drinker. There are weeks where I don't have a single glass of wine. I have nothing, but Mike and I have such a beautiful, God bless you, Chloe. Mike and I have such a beautiful wine collection. We really enjoy drinking wine and like I could have half a glass of wine and be happy. I just, I love tasting wine. I love the experience of wine. And so, yeah, I'm gonna drink a little bit more. And that might sound weird to say, but yeah, I'm gonna drink more wine in November. I was gonna say goodbye and I totally forgot. I'm wearing all the same things that I always wear. I have not really been wearing my Apple Watch just when I work out and just when I go on walks. I'm keeping that promise to myself I, and I've just been wearing my Cartier Santos. I love it, it's beautiful. And I just think like it makes any outfit look so much better. The Apple Watch, no offense. I was a slave to the Apple Watch for a bit there. It's just, it does nothing for you. I did wanna mention this bracelet that I don't know if I've ever showed you, but I bought it a while ago. I will find it and link it down below because I forgot the name of the company and I know that they still sell it, but it is literally a pill and it says chill. It's a chill pill. Can you see that? I like the red, obviously, because I like red. My Van Cleef is also red. It comes in an array of colors. It's very, very subtle. However, I love annoying people when it's like the silliest things. I'm a kind person. I never like to rub people the wrong way. A few times this past month, I've been wearing the chill pill and I've had people say like, is that a pill? Is that appropriate that you're wearing a pill? And I'm like, you are the reason. I wear this to remind people like you to take a chill pill. It's just a chill pill. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, we all get a little bent out of shape over silly things and it's cute to have a little reminder on your wrist to just woosaw. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize that the lighting has gone in and out, but I've enjoyed hanging out with you and my other little friends behind me. I hope you had a beautiful October, a wonderful Halloween. Let me know down below in the comments if you dressed up 
what did you dress up as? Another month to be blessed hanging out with you guys. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. This way I keep uploading the favorites because like I said, I'm not really shopping a lot. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell button. This way you get a notification when my new wine video goes up. I'm so excited. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as always. And I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.